Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go! Give me two! Two guns! I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich from The Core Report, and I'm here with the gear. Now that Fort Devon Army Base, I'm about to learn about this beast. I'm joined by Kevin Blankensporen. Sir, can you tell me exactly uh, what you do here and what we're looking at? Sure, Clayton. This is the Legged Squad support system, shortly known as LS3, and I'm the chief engineer on the LS3 project. And what you're basically looking at is a robotic pack mule. So the real goal for this uh, machine is to go where the dismounted warfighter goes uh, and to help carry their load. So how does it stand up to like mountains, rivers, different terrain? Yeah, that's a great question. And this is really why we developed this machine is so that it would be all terrain. Uh, so we've tested stream crossings. We've gone to the mountains uh, in 29 Palms, California. Uh, we've tested a lot of East Coast woods and mountains. So we really are trying to go to as many different terrains as we can uh, and push the mobility and the autonomy of the machine so it can keep up with the warfighter. So I'm really excited to actually see this thing in action. So uh, can you uh, gear up and give me a demo? Yeah, let's take it for a walk. All right, great, let's do it. about the different functions and modes that uh, this machine has? Well, it's a good time to ask because we're in one of them right now. So this is a uh, leader follow mode. And this is kind of the bread and butter for how LS3 is really uh, going to operate. Uh, the idea is that, you know, you can see I'm, I'm not really distracted by the robot right now. We're able to have a conversation or I could be doing something else. Uh, but effectively, uh, the robot's following the stripes on my backpack uh, and using me as a guide for, for working through the terrain. If you get in a tight pinch, you can also directly control it with a joystick. Uh, and, and then we have a fully autonomous mode, which is go to waypoint. So you can tell the robot, uh, you know, go 100 meters that way, and the robot, without any driver or leader, uh, will autonomously work its way to that goal point. So how could this be effective uh, for Marines? Well, the main idea for Marines right now is as an offloading capability. Uh, so, you know, dismounted Marines typically carry around 100 pounds of, of, uh, of gear between body armor, backpack, food, water, ammo, uh, and the idea is for us to get that off the warfighter and really improve the warfighter's mobility, reduce injury rates, uh, and generally improve their, their capabilities. So, uh, you know, ideally you could take a lot of the equipment that the warfighters carry through, uh, through long foot patrols uh, and put it on the robot and have it carry the gear for them.
today it takes five or six Marines to get somebody wounded off the battlefield. With something like this, you could do it with one, and that keeps more Marines in the fight. We are testing out the LS3. It's a robotic mule. It's real easy to control, really easy to understand, and uh, it's a whole lot of fun. You can pretty much teach anybody in the military to use it. They're walking through just simple patrol maneuvers uh, with the machine to see where what its limits are and, and where, where it makes most sense for it to be uh, when the squad is on patrol. Experimentation phase is in, in full swing right now. Then we'll come back and we'll look at all the data. We'll get the feedback from all the Marines on how they feel. Uh, it can support them best. And then we'll look at what it needs to look like, what right looks like at the end of the day for a, uh, a legged support system that's autonomous. We ultimately want it to support Marines in the field. We ultimately want it to get some of the load off their backs. The system was really good. It's a great idea. And uh, I'm glad that they're coming out that it just shows that uh, you know, the Marine Corps is changing, times are changing in the next 15, 20 years. Stuff like this should be everywhere in the military. It's more like that. It's too slippery. It's too slippery for it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, just working with robotics, it's not really something that I envisioned doing. 
at any point or working with any kind of experimental technology and just doing it is, you know, kind of, is different. So we took it, the very first day, we took it through some thicker brush to the 81 platoon and that's something that certainly the, the ITV would not have been able to go through. A lot of people don't think that it's it would be able to handle the terrain that it does. I'd say around like 70 or 80 percent of what we can go through, it can actually get through. To be able to say that I was one of the first groups that actually tested it and brought it to the field on one of the bigger training exercises for the first time, that'd be pretty surreal. Marines at the Kahuku training area are field testing new technology. This is the Legged Squad Support System, or LS3. It can carry up to 400 pounds of equipment and travel up to 20 miles. These Marines are trying out the Ground Unmanned Support Surrogate, better known as GUS. In general, the concept is there. It's a good idea, especially for patrolling. We'll use it primarily for patrolling and resupplying. It's pretty good in that you can just walk along with it and you still have your rifle out while it follows you and you don't waste a driver. Bringing it out to the field, watching them use it, see what problems they encounter. The feedback that they give us is invaluable to, to making these things better. During their patrol, the Marines were ambushed. One was killed and another lost both legs. Doc, he's to you. Using the new technology that we have, the Tempest Pro, I was able to send direct feedback Go. to the shock trauma platoon. It's lightweight, streamlined, very easy to use. It's another piece of gear being tested that could be the difference between life and death. With the direct text or voice capability, I'm able to stay in direct contact and they can just walk me through steps that I would need to provide for my patient. The experimental equipment came from ideas that began in the Marine Corps' warfighting laboratory in Quantico, Virginia. Master Sergeant Ryan Cruz, Kahuku Training Area, Hawaii.